But then she asked a follow-up question. She said, you've talked a lot about the church and the role of women in the church, but what is the impact of the church on you personally? Do you mind me asking that personal question? I said, I love you asking that question. I said, listen, my life has not turned out like I hoped it would, like I prayed it would. I said, you can't be my age, and this is a year or so ago, so I was like 60. I said, you can't be my age in a very family-oriented church and not have had a lot, and I mean a lot, of lonely days and lonely nights. I said, I understand loneliness. I do. I understand rejection. I understand all those things very deeply. I said, but on the other hand, my greatest joys have come because of my membership in this church. Every major privilege I've ever had, every opportunity to grow has come because of the church. And I said, I can't imagine what would have happened to me with some of the disappointments I've had if I had not learned how to get help from heaven. And at this point, tears were rolling down her face, and mine too. She then said, I wish I could say the same thing about my church. And I said, we can help you with that. <laughs> Just needed to lighten the, 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 the mood a little bit. There's something because of that experience that I can testify to you of, and that is when we teach truth, the Spirit comes in and bears witness. The other thing I can testify is that there's a, a truth that I told her, and that is that there are divine laws that govern access to the power of God. And when a man or a woman makes a covenant and keeps it with God, it increases their access to that power. That's just the truth. That's one of the beauties and the joys of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and its power, the power that has been restored to earth when the priesthood was restored. Next story.